Hello everyone, and as always, welcome to Strategy Gaming Dojo, where we find, learn, and play one more turn of the great strategy games. And today I bring you a special international edition of the dojo as we push east in Gary Grigsby's War in the East. As you can see, Moscow off in the distance, our panzers racing towards the Soviet capital. Uh, I told my wife, I said, I've got to make an episode. I've got to get an episode up. I was lounging by the pool, I, but I said, my guys are going to think I've got Montezuma's revenge down here, that I've got some kind of problem. I got to get a video up. Plus, I was just excited to keep this game moving along. We're running out of time before War in the East 2 drops. I'm getting, the excitement level is getting high. When I get back home, I, I hopefully... Might have an advanced copy in my inbox. Uh, let's let's hope. Let's hope. Uh, but be that as it may, we're going to keep playing War in the East here. Uh, also, I will say uh, next week I am going to get some War in the West videos up, so that we will go over the Air War, how it is going to be in War in the East too, which is going to be very much like War in the West. So we'll play a little bit of that. But where were we last time? Uh, you can see a lot of gold lit up, uh, highlighted. Uh, units out here. Those are our units. That is because right now I'm highlighting uh, units that are isolated far from the railhead or receiving beachhead supply. Well, as you can imagine, we are not receiving beachhead supply out here. Uh, I mean, if we are, that would really be something. Uh, we're getting a little far from our railhead, but we have been moving our railheads forward. Uh, you can see one is now you know, moving this way by next turn, it will be up by the Divina River. Uh, the other one's coming straight down here to the Dnieper. Uh, we may take this up to Mogilev, assuming we can get a cross and establish a, a you know, a bridgehead over here. So we got to get across the river. Now, uh, as I left you last time, we had moved second Panzer. Uh, that was a little touch and go in the in the fact that ori the original plan was to swoop around Smolensk here and meet up with the rest of Second Panzer. I abandoned that idea because I just think there's too much out here. There's too much Soviet armor that's showing up. You can see these armored units out here. I don't know what some of this other stuff is. It looked like too tall of a task potentially. And I think we've got a little weak spot right through here. So I'm going to try to push here. I'm going to try to get third Panzer down and around here out of Vileki Luki. I just like to say it. Uh, so I thought I'd say it again. Um, so this time, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to move fourth army and get them going. So what's fourth army trying to do? Well, first of all, down here, they're trying to get across the river. Uh, that's important. Now, we don't want to fight any... Uh, big pitched battles, right? We don't want to go after the tens or things. We don't know what they are uh, up in here like this. What's that? I don't know. Uh, you know how much of a defensive value it's got. What we're going to look for is a four, a five, like right in here. This is a weak spot that maybe we could push through. Uh, meanwhile, we've got second panzer here that hopefully I'm going to try to get them you know, we got a terrain problem here, right? We've got two rivers that kind of branch off here. We've got some swamp. We've got some woods. Uh, I would love it if I could just drive straight this way and just kind of, a you know, move, miss these guys. I say move, I'd like to move them. But uh, if we could just miss them all together and not have to fight through them, I would prefer that uh, because we have second army coming here that could hopefully mop that up. But we'll see how far we can go with them. Uh, this soft underbelly here of nothing but airfields, headquarters, it looks just soft as hell till we get up to the, like this armored unit or, or this one. But all the rest of this stuff, we could just scatter to the winds if we can get up there. And that's the key. Uh, so what are we going to do first? Well, let's bring second army up first. We've already moved our railroad unit. Uh, so let's grab a hold of the furthest back unit in second army and get them moving. And oh, let's hit the space bar. People get mad at me when I don't hit the space bar. Uh, I, I understand it's annoying just to watch that thing click along. I, I must admit, when I just play the game, I, I watch it. It gives me time to think and whatnot, but that's not what you're here for is to see my hamster run. Um, let's move this guy up here. All right. And now we've only got this one core headquarters, but remember, we did 
uh, turn these reinforcements into second army. So we're going to actually start bringing them further south. Whether we'll bring them this far south, I'm not sure. They might kind of be the backup through here, through Smolensk, Mogilev. Uh, by the time they get here, we'll be pushing on Moscow. We may need them in the center. Uh, we'll, we'll just see as, as they get a little closer. Um, all right. Hey, we can get all the way here to Zloban which is the gateway across the Dnieper down here. And we have made our way across the river, which is great. It looks like the Soviets have sort of abandoned maybe this strict defense of Goma. Well, you know what I like to do. Let's recon it. Let's see. Can we see anything? No, I don't think there's anything there, uh, which is really quite interesting. I mean, in some ways we might be best off. I, there's got to be a Soviet unit here somewhere. I just don't believe that they've abandoned the field. But I keep saying that over and over, but we keep putting them in difficult positions and they keep retreating uh, and are giving up some of these very defensible places up very easily, which means I guess we're doing a good job. I don't know, you know, you tell me. Um, all right, let's get this guy down here, as I said. Uh, maybe we'll take the motorized this way. I. I think there's got to be something here and I wonder what the strength is there but maybe doop, and then try to get across here I don't know we're gonna see uh, we've got one more unit here that can move not him but he can move uh, yeah we can't get him across anywhere that's no surprise it takes I think a good eight movement points maybe to get across the river here so you know not not surprising now we still have these infantry units in uh, second panzer why don't we just, for now, let's bring him right there. Uh, he's got a few more movement points, but why don't we move some of this infantry first, and I'll decide exactly where on the river to put him. Um, we do want to bring the core headquarters up, of course. We'll get him across the river. Now, this unit's going to be out of command, but still very close to the railhead where it can get its own supply, so no biggie there. We'll bring the second army air. Eh, just put it there. Why not? And then the second army headquarters itself is also coming along here. So we'll get it moving up. Eh, we'll just put it in this town. You know, as long as everything's in in play, I call it in, you know, on side. As long as you've got them in command, it just doesn't matter. And in this case, you know, with the army, it doesn't really matter anyway. As long as it's in core command and you want the core in command of the army. Oh, nope. I mean, the army's in command of the core. You know what I meant hopefully. Uh, let's shift Z. There we go. So we can see who's controlling who now that I've been saying it. And as you can see that that core headquarters, you know, is way back there, but they'll be moving quickly uh, through Poland and through uh, the rest of Poland here and then into Soviet territory. Um, all right. I mean, I, I, we got to remember we got a few movement points left there. We'll come back there and, and use those. That reminds me, we did still have like four movement points here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and hit this unit because first 10 turns as the Germans, uh, I always attack, uh, essentially, unless you know you've got terrible odds. And even then, sometimes I attack. Uh, you got to just knock out what you can. Uh, you, that manpower will be replaced. It's not the biggest deal in the world. You know, we, I don't think we can attack with anything else. I think we used everything else up. This guy probably could. Eh, eh, that's, you know, that's a little dicey. That's across the river. You see the river there. I don't really want to, you know, I, I, I'm breaking the, the rule I just gave you, but not really, uh, you know, going across rivers like that, uh, never really that great of a proposition. I guess we could attack here if we really wanted to but i don't like any of these odds i've decided we're going to bypass these guys try to get around them uh, which is always a good idea early on uh, when you're taking on these soviet units they don't have that many great units uh, so when you do encounter some that have some nice combat values just go around them uh, now can he he can attack there but he can't attack there that's a little odd right um it's all about the terrain. If you're wondering why, it's about the terrain. The movement points are too great to get into that hex. Uh, we still do have, well, again, this is a unit we're going to go around. 20 defensive value. There's just absolutely no reason to take those kind of chances, um, especially 
with motorized units. You don't ever want to do that. Now we could attack here. It's only a three, but we may lose three or four tanks. Eh, why? Why? You're not really advantaging anything. Okay, I just wanted to make sure before we move on here that I'd used up what I wanted to use up there. Um, all right, so we could either start down here with the infantry from 2nd uh, Panzer Group, or we could go up here to 4th Army and see what we could do. So what are we going to try to do with 4th Army? Well, the northern part of it here, I think we're going to you know, help take Smolensk to the extent we can. We've got a lot of stuff to clean up up here. These are all not great units they you know they don't have a whole lot going on oh one thing that we will do let's move the security unit uh that should take care yeah vitebsk is a city that should take care of security for vitebsk and this one can come down here to mogilev and we'll just put that one in mogilev uh i think the bigger units that we have back here uh i say bigger units there's one uh, the headquarters does not count as a garrison uh, unit. This does, and this can take care of Smolensk. As a matter of fact, it's almost too big for Smolensk. Uh, this equates out to 12,000, so you could put this into a heavy urban area. Smolensk, uh, by my remembrance, is light urban, which only requires 8,000, uh, but we'll go ahead and probably use it for that. I mean, if we have to garrison Moscow, we'll figure it out. If we get to that point, uh, that's that would be wonderful if we have that problem. Uh, so we'll just kind of wait until we get there for that. All right, let's start up here with 4th Army. Uh, I, I, because the main reason I'm doing that is because I want to think about 2nd Panzer more. Uh, th this is a little bit the easier move. Uh, we could maybe... Maybe do a hasty. Now, do we have any, um, let's go look. No, nope, we don't. Okay, I'm glad I looked. For some reason, I thought we had maybe put some in here. Eh, ee, ee, ee. Uh, Fourth Army support units. Whew. Wow. I guess we used a lot of these in Ninth Army, uh, which is also pulling off Army Group Center. And I think maybe we overdid it a little bit uh, because Fourth Army, I would really like to have more support units than this this is not enough really i don't i don't like this um hmm well we'll have to keep that in mind and maybe not be quite as aggressive i think with these guys out here in fourth army now the question is do i take him and we drive on smolensk immediately or do we use him to kind of clear out some of this stuff? It's a good question. We've only got two units here. Because we have second army coming down here, we're going to, you know, shift everything a little bit to the north uh, because we've got plenty of coverage down there. So I, I do think maybe I'll go this. Well, you know what? I want to get rid of this guy. First things first. Eh. Can't really do much of an attack here because I will get no support units if he gets out of the command range then if I bring the headquarters forward he gets none if we do a hasty attack uh, shoot well hmm. can we move this guy at all I guess we can't no I just looked at him we could hasty attack there but not sure I really care to do that uh, Okay, well, we'll go after Smolensk next time. How about that? Let's hasty attack, try to blow this guy out. That should at least retreat him back across the river. And it does. Okay. As you can see, the air war here, the Soviets are starting to do a little better. I don't want to, you know, overplay it and say, oh, you know, the Soviets can stick with us in the air right now, because they can't. I mean, they're not to that level yet. So let's move this guy here. Let's move the headquarters up a little bit. And let's, oof, this is quite a decision. I don't think I'm going to be able to get these guys across the river anyway. This is an eight defense, so let's do a deliberate attack with both of them. Um, yeah, we don't have the support units. We got almost five to one. That, that should retreat him back over the river, so that's fine. Uh, you know, maybe wish I, you know, had a few more points here, but I think we've done good enough. Uh, we'll go after Smolensk next time. Now these guys can start coming across the river. So now we're going to establish this, uh, you know, 
this uh, bridge. I keep I keep wanting to call it a beachhead, but <laughs> it's not a beach, obviously, unless I've you know losing my mind a bit. Uh, I don't think the Dnieper has beaches on it. Uh, I, I highly doubt it. I've never been to this part of, of the Soviet Union, but uh, yeah, that, that doesn't seem likely to me. So let's call it a bridgehead, but I keep forgetting, like I, that word keeps slipping out of my mind. Now that these guys are across the river, you can see we've literally got to get right next to them to keep them in command because it's so many movement points to get across the river. Uh, now they are not going to get support units no matter what because we have to do a hasty attack. So let's just start attacking. Now, which way do we want to go, though? Now, I yeah, he cannot attack, which I assumed, but... Okay, let's hit there. Okay, well, wow. I can't believe they only have a 153 defense there. They showed a lot better than that. That's some real fog of war. Retreated, routed. See ya. You know, they're out. And uh, do we have enough to hit this guy? I expect this guy to be a little stronger. Yeah, well, oh, hey, this is looking good. Wow. Uh, I probably would have brought these guys across the river if I would have known that these units were not nearly as strong as I thought they were. Uh, can he go across now? I guess not. These guys, I don't think, yeah. I mean, one movement point's not going to do anything there. Okay, okay, he can, well, he can get across, right? But he's going to, I hate to, I don't know. That's fine. I, I want to bring him across because it takes so many movement points to get him across. I'd rather get him, you know, across this turn. Um, now then, now then, what do we do? Well, I really, 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 really wish we had more support units here. I guess maybe that's bad, bad generalmanship. Now, we'll have to make sure we don't attack with the security unit. That's not what I'm trying to do here. Um, do we deliberately attack there like bring come up here and stack him there i think we do i think that's what we have to do got to get across here and if they're going to allow us or do we hit there that's what i said originally was not in my big uh introduction i said you know here's your weak spot oh okay okay let's do that then let's um I guess we can hasty attack there. We haven't moved the headquarters, so we could try to get... Okay, he's got some pioneer battalions. At least that helps a little. Let's give him a howitzer. Let's give him mixed flak so he gets the 88s potentially into the fray. You know, these other flaks just... Okay, we'll give him one light flak because we can. Um, all right. Well, let's see what happens. Let's make sure we don't attack with that security unit. And let's try to hit, I'm just so afraid I'm going to hit hasty here and it's not going to blow him out. But I think we'll be all right. Okay, let's, let's, okay, yeah, we were really good, obviously. Six to one. He should just back up. That's fine. Because, can we get this guy across now is the question. And we can. Excellent. So we're going to hit there. He'll do a hasty. That should be route him out I think yeah uh yeah nice looking good so well before I forget let's get this unit knocked out that's across the you know that's on our side of the river let's get rid of that um now I would not expect these units to try to cross the river themselves I'm tempted to go right there just to make sure but I, I cannot imagine they would do that how about these guys can they do it i don't think they can do a deliberate attack no they cannot okay uh let's have him do a hasty there and maybe we'll get lucky did we get two to one i think we did just barely excellent maybe he'll take a step back he does that was a really nice result for us because if we got just under two um now now we got options we could bring him up here because I don't really want to attack this unit head on. A little too strong for that, I think. And as you can see, now we're shifting north. This is going to put them in a real big problem. I mean, look at this. This is their rear guard stuff, right? This is like their air bases, their headquarters, whatever. And now we're getting into it, getting into the meat of it. Um, so we'll blow him out. 
And I think that should open this up for everybody to get across. We shall see. Uh, okay, he's with them. Well, he can get across, just barely. Do we go up here and try to hit this guy? He cannot attack there, right? Right, okay. Can they attack? I think that's what I have to do. I don't really like the idea of this battle here, but uh, the way things have opened up, yeah, you see, they had 1142 defense there. I'm using two full divisions. We outnumber them three to one, and we only got him to retreat back one. Now, they did take two to one losses over us, but uh, that's not the kind of attacks you generally want to do. But the way that this has opened up, I think we kind of had to. Because um, now, now look where we're headed. This is looking really good. Very promising, gentlemen. Um, yeah, let's shoot him up there. Now they're, now we're all across. And they're, they're in big, big trouble now here in the center. Uh, because where do they go, right? I mean, we have a full panzer, or half of a panzer group down here. Two full panzer corps. Uh, and we've already got our infantry almost past them here. Can we hit him? All right, let's do it. Let's hit him. And again, we got better than two to one, so we should take a step back. And he does. All right. We're bringing some really nice air power here. I'm surprised we're doing as well as we are, given the lack of support units we have here in the center. And I've got to make sure that that does not happen again. Um, well, let's see. Where, what do we want to do now? How far can he get over here? He can get up here too. Why don't we... Okay, these are his two... Okay, let's just bring him right there. This is a pretty strong unit. They may try to counterattack us there, so let's double stack. Uh, I guess we can't move them. He can do a hasty attack. Let's just do it. Let's see what we get. And again, just barely beat the two to one. That's like uh, when you're playing a dice game or something and you just keep you know, getting the right rolls. Uh, route, we did route out an army there, um, or a division, I should say. All right, so let's move this headquarters up. Uh, we'll move this headquarters up. I mean, I guess this guy, shit, he can get all the way across here, but I don't want to really leave the open that center, or this, this big gap right here. So I think for now, I'll just put him there as kind of almost a little bit of a defensive move. I hate doing that, but they do have, you know, a couple of units here that have some strength. I guess I could have gone here instead of doing that and attacked them. That may have been the better move. It may still be the better move. I don't think they're going to come across the river. If they do, we'll deal with it. Um, can this unit move? Can he go one north? He can. Oh, okay. So I'll just back him right there, just to make sure they don't get squirrely. Um, can we move this guy at all? Can he go forward? No. Can he go forward? No. Okay. Well, that was really, really nice. I, I, I'm really pleased with how all that played out. Let's bring the other headquarters here. Um, Von Klug has done an excellent job with his fourth army here today. And let's uh, he's fine. He's fine. Everybody's on side there. I like that. That's fine. Um, these security units, I kind of want to just get them out of the way, but maybe we'll bring them up here. Let's bring them up here uh, just as some kind of deterrent in case somebody wants to shoot the gap here. Uh, I guess ultimately, well, the security group it, it's always hard to know what to do with the security headquarters because they're really not that important i mean when it comes down to it most of your security units are going to be drawing off the railhead themselves and so you know whether they're in command or not in command just becomes sort of unimportant um but yeah we'll drive this guy forward a little bit too we don't have anything to do with him right now so why don't we just you know we'll put him there and now we've got, you know, zone of control. They can't get through there. Or if they do and they attack the security unit, oh, well, you know, we'll we'll figure that out. Um, Von Klug, 
I, I said, hey, we're not going to move it. Well, they'll move him up a couple. I like to keep things moving forward. Now, here we go. Here's Guderian out here. He sh actually probably should move forward a little bit. These guys are out at 19 and 50. Yeah, well, I guess not only should he, definitely should. Whoa, wait a minute. There we go. Get back on uh, Guderian. But see, he does. We got to remember, he's got headquarters down here too. Uh, do, 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 do. Now that we move them, I think. Are you on side now? 14 of 15. Okay, nice. Uh, this is going to cause a little bit of problem if these headquarters get out. I mean, they're getting spread way out. When you think this is 10 kilometers, I mean, he's a good 100 kilometers away there and 140 kilometers there. Uh, that's a long distance, you know, of course, they've probably got radios. That being said, if you're providing logistics support, you got to have some people on the ground. Um, I think that's all okay. I guess we can move Ninth Army up a little bit. These guys, maybe move him where? Here? Kind of in between the swamps? I just want to make sure he's... Let's look at his supply. He's in supply 30 movement points away. What are these guys doing? What's there? I'm just looking at how many movement points they're away. I like to keep them within 30, definitely. I really would like it to be even better than that, of course. Um, you know, the closer the better. But let's um, move his recon air unit up. We probably should have it even further out here. Why don't we do that? I'll just I'll move the recon air unit there. Hell, I'm kind of tempted to move the whole army up there, but I don't want this guy to get out. Okay. Um, wow, that all looks really good. We busted across the river at Mogilev. The reason we were able to do that really is because we had pushed 2nd Panzer Group through here, and I think that whether it be AI or human, it's going to be very difficult to deal with a push through like this now you're going to see the soviets absolutely swarm to this area as you know i mean we're getting very close to moscow now um you know without enemy units we could be there in two turns and so they're just going to start flying here which is why I, I like the fact we also have third coming up this way and we have second coming down this way there's just too many places for them to cover to they don't have enough fingers to put in the dike how about that um all right, let's go down here and move the infantry units in second panzer and let's get them across here and start trying to knock things out of our way. So the motorized units then, and let's see what we can get. Um, so the motorized units can maybe get back up into this stuff. Uh, what's he part of? 12th Corps. Okay, let's go look at 12th Corps. Let's see what kind of okay they they've got a little bit more uh down here in second panzer group which thank goodness i i was kind of alarmed when i saw what fourth army had for sure um light flak mixed flak stug heavy let's do some heavy rockets i just like to i wish we could watch them fly those rocket videos from old world war ii and color stuff whew, crazy crazy shit um Okay, that's probably good. We've given him a nice selection. We'll give him a gun battalion too. All right, so let's have this guy. I, can he do a deliberate? Yeah, he can. Huh, or do I have him do two, three hasties? Shit, maybe knock out all this stuff. I doubt it though. I think most of them are just gonna take a step back, but which direction is the question. Really, we need to get rid of this guy, but it's gonna be across a river, a minor river, a little river. Um, why don't we hit there first? That's probably the key, the most important one to get rid of from a zone of control perspective to let our guys move. Oh, we routed him. Wow. Well done. All right. 31st Infantry bringing, bringing it hot. Uh, hopefully this guy, and he routed too. Wow. Tell you what, our uh, whatever kind of dice rolls we're getting today I'm going to maybe just only play this game in Mexico. Um, all right. Let's move. Shit. Where's the best place to attack? I, I This is the guy. If we get rid of this guy, I think we're home free. Down here in the south. 
south of the center anyway. All right, I'm going to do a, wait a minute, is he in 12? Yeah, he is. Okay, I'm going to do a deliberate because I, I bet she just takes a step back. But if we could route this guy, we're about to get off the chain up in this piece. Yes, there he goes. He routed. Uh, excellent. Uh, wow. I just want to click on him. Can he get up through here? He can only go there. I guess this well, this is like forest and... Okay, so we got to get rid of this guy. Because he's ex he's keeping us from going further there anyway. Yeah. Hmm. Not sure I can quite get where I wanted to. Or at least I got all excited there for a minute. Uh, but I'm not sure if that was as justified as I made it sound. Uh, oh, wait a minute. He can get across here. Or do I want him just to go there and knock these guys out of the way? Yeah, let's do that. Let's use our infantry to blow these guys out. And then we'll try to move with the motorized. You can see the, the hole that our fullback is creating here into the hole. Um, all right. Now, can we deliberate attack? Yeah, we can. Oh, we did get better than two to one. We're just chewing these guys up down here. Hell, we knocked, we hit him so hard, we knocked him all the way across the Deniper. That's incredible. Um, actually, let's put him there so he's got zone of control. We, you know, I like to keep him spaced kind of two for zone of control purposes. Now, don't forget, we've got this guy. Where's he going? Maybe we'll put him up here for the for the moment, this guy from uh, Second Army. So I'm glad I held on to those movement points because that keeps them from some kind of weird counterattack that wouldn't be successful, but that, you know, would cause a bit of heartburn, I think. Um, shit, we could almost just walk to Gomel. It's very tempting. We don't have a lot of movement points down here. Our fuel situation's not fantastic. Oh, I so desperately want to get something up that way. Okay, well, at least I can get him across there. Right, that works. I guess I will take him down here to the doorstep of Gomel. We picked up some supply there as, oh wow, it's completely undefended. Is that right? Nothing gonna show up there? Eesh. Now I'm tempted to go take it. Don't lose sight of the prize, though. Let's go this way with the rest of these guys. Can he, wait a minute, can he move in there? No, he can't. Two's not enough to get him into the town, so unfortunately not. All right. Hmm. Now what, I ask? Now what? Uh, these guys are all together, and then the infantry's all together. Yeah, he just can't get any further than that. I, I'm so tempted. I, the reason I keep clicking on these is I'm so tempted to go down here and take Gomel. Uh, we've got one routed unit, and probably a stronger unit, you know, a strong unit underneath. But I, it's very interesting that they just abandoned the town. Because if we could push through here... We really could get behind all of this stuff, although we're going to have a fuel situation the more we kind of go south and east. That's why I'm trying to cut back north. Now we can almost link up here. Yeah, gosh, I wish we could go one more, but that's fine. Second army's on the way. I, you know, you got to keep that in mind. We've got a whole army that's coming just for that objective. So let's, uh, okay, let's sit there. Let's see what happens. Again, just getting great odds every single time. I would kind of like to avoid this unit. Um, does it, Did that allow him? Yeah, that did allow him to get across over there. All right. I mean, they're in big trouble. They're going to have to get like every air base they've got in the dang game uh, and try to get it back to Bryansk or someplace like that. They're just not in a defensible position at this moment. Um... For supply purposes, let's put them there. I think everybody's on. Let's uh, let's look. He's 25 away from the railhead, but the railhead's coming down here in a hurry. So you know we could get a very very much improved supply situation here quickly. 
uh, I say supply, I mean fuel. Fuel's what's important, right? I'm talking about these motorized divisions. I don't think we could move anybody else here. Uh, you know, I, I, this, this all looks good. This is a great setup. We're in good position, and we've got reinforcements on the way. For what, I'm not sure. I mean, they don't have a whole lot out here. Um, you know, I could care less about going to take Orel. We're going to take those, those units, second even, and start turning them a little bit north, because in the center, of course, that's that's the big big one, the big kahuna. So, you know, driving out here to Orel, uh, while that's nice, and I think, you know, historically the Germans did go this way, um, you know, it, it's of very little strategic importance if we back up a little bit and you just look at the center you can see the position we have them in now you know and you see they're starting to bring armored units up here it's going to get really tough right here that's why i want them to bring them here and we'll just wheel and go north and you know bring it with the third and try to push straight this way then we'll try to go around moscow uh, it's very hard when you get up here around moscow um you know you see river 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 big river down here uh they'll set up a defensive line here of course wouldn't you if you were the soviets they'll set up a defensive line here but you've got to constantly be attacking across rivers here you really need to do that with infantry um so we'll try to get the tanks out and around you can kind of see where a nice place to do that would be it, to try to completely cut off Moscow. Now, you may run out of tanks, you know. I mean, if you're doing every other hex, uh, how many, how, you know, how big of an arc can you make? Uh, but it, it generally works if you start, you know, kind of here, and then you've got the infantry here. Uh, that's what we're going to try to do anyway. Best laid plans, right? I hope the AI isn't listening to me. It's like Alexa, turn off, don't listen to me. Um... Okay, gents, I think because this is a special vacation edition of Strategy Gaming Dojo, I'm going to leave it here for this time. Uh, I will be recording more over the next couple of days, so I'm going to try to definitely get up at least one, maybe two, uh, during during the days. Uh, but I'm going to make them a little shorter, a little shorter. I don't want to get the side eye from my wife. You know how that goes. Uh, so anyway, thank you guys so much. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this one. We're looking good. We're looking good. Uh, as far as Moscow, Leningrad, not quite as good in the south, but we'll deal with that in upcoming episodes and, and get that looking good too. So thank you so much. This has been Strategy Gaming Dojo. Uh, I always appreciate it. Have a good one. I'll talk to you later.